It was the Blues against the Blues in the markets field and Waterford in all white and on the back of six wins in their last seven games started strongly. Gavin Houlihan combining well with Courtney Dufus and the striker on loan from Oldham stretched Brendan Clark early on. Alan Reynolds has done an excellent job so far. Waterford in third place on merit, but his team were sleeping when Limerick's quick free kick gave William Fitzgerald the chance. And the 18-year-old was only denied by the athletic Lawrence Vigaroo, quickly off his line to make a fine save. Tommy Barrett bemoaning that miss, and he was inconsolable minutes later. Barry Maguire lost the ball in the middle of the pitch, and Bastian Eri was quickly onto it. His through ball put Doofus clear and a smart finish across the face of goal had Waterford on their way to their sixth win in eight league games. And that was a fourth goal in his last four matches for the former under-21 international. All the games here have been tight this season and Limerick had their chances to equalise. Ellis's cross and another fine save by keeper Vigaru as Jer Duggan looked likely to score. Paul Keegan there to clear it away. So far this season, one of the best midfielders in the league has been Bastianeri, the Frenchman, a player comfortable on left or right. And here he spotted John Kavanagh in space. And the man on loan from Cork City provided the perfect cross. Hulahan unable to beat Clark. Waterford's football going forward was a delight to watch. Eri again involved, turning Cantwell inside out. But what a pity Hulahan couldn't keep his header down. At 1-0, this game was still in the balance, but a moment of madness by Limerick defender Tony Whitehead pulling down Ishmael Akinade as he chased after Dave Webster's hopeful long ball. Gave referee Tomas Connolly no option but to point to the spot. And skipper Keegan Camley sent Clark the wrong way for his first Waterford goal. The final drama in another comfortable win for the Super Blues.